Hey YouTube, how's it going? This video is my thoughts on Nintendo DS flash cards. I own one for my Nintendo DS XL and I thought I'll talk about why I own one and why I like them. Um, I probably bought this, I think it was late 2013 and I managed to get a flash card through means I'm not going to say. Now the reason I bought one is because there's a load of DS games out there I want to try. And how else do you try them? That there wasn't any other way. I mean, you can watch videos, you can read articles, you can talk to people, but again, there's a lot. There's, the DS has a really vast library of some really interesting stuff, and having a having a flash card is a great way to try it. It's a great way to try stuff. And if there's something I I play and I really like, I will buy the genuine cart. So I think that's the right thing to do. But the thing is. There's, a, there's also another advantage to these, like, for example, you're, let's say you're you're curled up on the couch, you're playing your DS, and you don't want to be swapping these swapping these cartridges out. I mean, they're small, they can get lost. If you've got pets, you know, they might, you know, pick them and chew them and hide them. So but by, by having, you know, most of all the DS games you want to play on this little baby, you're absolutely laughing. Plus, I don't think the, I don't think people who bought these were buying them because they wanted to get games for free. I mean, my opinion is, if enough people want something for free, they'll find a way, and you should probably just ignore them and focus on the people that want to give you money. So let's say, you know, a good chunk of the people who bought these actually wanted to, you know, give the people who made them money, and they bought this because they wanted to play the games the way they wanted, because Nintendo didn't offer that means. I always thought these were a missed opportunity because the way Nintendo dealt with it was by basically trying to eradicate them from the world. Say, hey, you buy a DS, you buy your game cards, that's that. What this showed was that outside of Nintendo's ecosystem, there was a far more effective way of basically getting and playing your games. And I, don't, I don't know why Nintendo didn't make their own flash cart or, I don't know, just made a service that allowed you to download games. I mean, sh I mean sure, when the DSi came out, you could buy games, but I always found that, you know, that the the library, the, D, the DSiWare library was pretty limited, and even on the 3DS, I mean, sure, you can, there, there is a good number of games available, but the availability is nowhere near that of a, a Nintendo DS flash cart. I mean, basically, any game that's been ripped, you can download and put on this. And I just always thought, why couldn't Nintendo replicate that process? I mean, I know there's some games you can't get on there. Let's say Nintendo has the Tetris license and they were at one point selling it on the 3DS store and then suddenly someone else has a license. Obviously, stuff that it, where you have to have a license to be able to make the game and sell it and once that expires, yeah, fair enough, those games couldn't be sold, which is, is a shame. But there is a lot of stuff out there that you just you can't get on the 3DS store. And let's say, for example, you buy a game for the DS and there are no more new copies available, right? Which means there is no way for you to buy a game and give a developer money for it. Which means downloading the game to play on this or buying a used copy doesn't really benefit the developer in any way. So I think as time goes on, these are just going to fall into a grey area where... Yeah, you can buy the cart used, but you're not going to give money to the original developer. And you can't give the original developer money digitally either. So, I I don't know. I think for retro gamers, I just don't really see anything wrong with these now, to be honest with you. I think if you buy, I think if you download a game, you really enjoy it, and you want to absolve yourself of any wrongdoing, yeah, buy, buy the legitimate cart, but... But again, you're not giving the original developer money, so it's kind of a grey area. I like them, I enjoy them, I find them really useful, and again, I just find it so cool that you can curl up on the couch and you've got your entire DS library on here and you haven't got to swap cards. Or if you go on holiday, you can take all your games with you. You can back up your game saves. So, what's your opinion, guys? I mean, do you think these are wrong? Do you have no problem with them? Or do you think these fall into a sort of grey area? This video was my thoughts, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject of Nintendo DS flashcards.